Hi, I'm Erik Hamström of Hamström.com Business Solutions. In this demo, I'll continue with the rental agreements example, which is a SharePoint example solution, which uh, aims to show a lot of different techniques. In this case, I'm going to work with the formatted emails. That's what I'm going to be focusing on in this. And the thing we want to implement is this business rule. The responsible person should get an email with the contract details on the renewal date. So I have already set up the content type and I've set up two different lists with different types of rental items. We're renting some warehouses and we're renting some stores. Now, the reason I've set that up as two lists is because I want to have different permissions on the different lists. And that's, I think, find it better to have different lists than to have item level security. So let's go into SharePoint Designer and um, create a new workflow. And that's going to be a reusable workflow. I'm going to call that send email on renewal date. And that's going to be a reusable workflow connected to a specific content type. And that means I have to do a SharePoint 2010 workflow. Because as you see, the SharePoint 2013 workflow can only be connected to all content types, which means that it's not doing what I need in this case. So I'm going to use the 2010 workflow and connect it to the rental agreement content type. Then I'll click OK. Then we want to do an action, send an email. We will email the responsible person. So I'm going to do a workflow lookup for a user, find the current item responsible person, and use that as an email address, not as a string. That's the address I want to send the email to, and I'm going to use the string builder here to type in some text. Time to renew the rental contract for and then the title of the actual place that we're renting. There we go, we have the title. And now you see I'm going to set up my email here. I have a little editor here, but it's nowhere near as complete as the one we see in Word or Outlook. But this is using RTF, so you can easily copy and paste from a better editor like Microsoft Word. One thing that you can't do in here is use a table. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll simply go into Word. Here I have a new blank document, and then I'll type my text as I want it in Word. So I'm going to be use a table, and just two columns and a couple of rows. Let's see, five should do, do it for now. First column to be somewhat narrower. And I also wanted to have a shading, so let's select the first column, put a nice blue shading on that. And then I'll copy the entire table, Control Z, and then go into Define Email Message dialog, and I can just paste it in there. And now I can start typing the, the columns that I need, and I'm repeating the title there. I think I'm just going to do a lookup and find the title, the square meters. I can't tab in here, I have to actually click, and then I can find the square meters, and the start date, the end date, and the description. Alright, so I'm going to do more lookups here, start date, I'll have that as a short date. You can't copy and paste these, these um, codes, by the way, you have to actually click them here. If you copy and paste, it doesn't work. Short description of that problem. So finally, we're going to do the description here. Ah, I didn't actually put a description there. I'll just use the department instead. I forgot to put that in the um, content type, but we will use the department instead. I'm done with the formatted email. And finally, I'll do a link. Click here to see the agreements. Go into the string builder. Now we've finished with the nicely formatted email, but of course I want to do the actual link here too. And now I'm going to pick that up from the function guide here and find the context, workflow context, the link to the current item. There we go. Now I have a nice email and I can just OK out of this dialog, publish the workflow. After a few seconds, when that's done, I'm going to go into the content type and associate the workflow with the content type. There we go. So I'll go into the site settings, find the site content types, select the Contoso group, 
find the rental agreement content type. Under workflow settings, I'll add a workflow. I'll use the send email one. And this will of course run not when a new item is created, not when a change is made, but on a timer. And that's what I'm going to show in my next demo. But let's test it first and see that this actually works as it should. Now I've associated it with a content type, which means that it should also be in the workflow settings of each of the list where I've used that content type. And as you see, if I go into the rental agreement, I'll find that, yes, send uh, email is there and set renewal da uh, date was there before. Now I'm going to run that workflow under the items tab and I'll find the workflows and there I'll start that send an email on renewal dates. Start that and now that's working. There we go, it's completed. If I don't want that in the view, I can modify the view and uncheck that box for the send email on renewal dates. Now it's not showing there. I can of course still go in and see in the workflow history under advanced here, the workflows there. I can see that it has run. I'll go into my mail now and uh, find the email, time to renew the rental agreement. And here are the dates, no square meters and no department set. That's my fault but it's showing the right information there. And I can click here to see the rental agreement and I'll get right into that. And of course I can fill out now the square meter. So that concludes my demo on how to create a nicely formatted email that is supposed to be sent out automatically. Now I send it out manually. In the next demo, I'll set it up to automatically get sent out on that renewal date. Thank you for watching this demonstration.